Okay guys, it's Johnny J here from HealthyWealthyAffiliate.com Now my aim of this year, as many of my readers know, is to give you all a full-blown course on the business that I run every day and the business model that I pursue every day on how to make money with niche blogs and large blogs and health related niche blogs and so on. So this video is a follow-on from a video I did last week about Google Hummingbird and Google Suggestion what we're going to talk about today is how to take a site what's earning money perhaps we have a site that's earning a hundred dollars a month for example what steps would we take to potentially get that site to two hundred dollars a month four hundred dollars a month or eight hundred dollars a month so in other words how would we double that site's income or treble that site's income or even quadruple that site's income so what i'm going to show you now is just some of the terms that i've gathered now it only took me about 10 minutes to do this and what i did is i just typed in some terms related to the niche and obviously the product term itself and the product related terms, the buyer intent, long tail terms and so on. And I just gathered these from the Google suggestion. So just to quickly run over that, for example, if I was to type in something like how to get fatter legs in Google, down here it would come up with obviously related suggestions. So we would take some of them because we know they're being typed in and they're obviously very targeted because somebody obviously wants to put on weight and in this case they want to get fatter legs and so on and again just to run over this it comes up here and you can also get very specific related terms down here which I use these often and I had a question on this so I'll put up a, a blog post on the question and I'll answer that question as well at some point today but anyhow going back to these terms here so what we have here is basically a selection of more terms that we don't really have right now on this little niche site and the niche site that I'm referring to is the weightgainsource.com case study this is healthy wealthy affiliate case study number three now this site's currently doing about 150 to 200 dollars a month now so what we want to do is we want to potentially double that treble that or even quadruple that and this is how you would go about it is basically using the Google suggestion remember when I talked about user intent and writing for the the mindset of the searcher so if we have somebody who wants to put on weight we need to think about that mindset and then start gathering keywords around that type of searcher that specific searcher that's how you get very targeted search and this is also how you use is the base to expand on your niche website and make it a more authoritative subject for example so what we're going to do here is we're going to look at these keywords and if you notice on this particular notepad file here I've broken them down into segments so I had a question I think it was um, a guy called Bob who's one of my private clients anyhow he asked me a question he says great video on the on the hummingbird and the Google suggestion but what about if we have like say 15 words for example he has, he has some here and they're all similar would you just put them all on the same page the answer is no I wouldn't because then you would have obviously a keyword stuffing issue again you would have CB1 with getting CB and you would have all the same again and again on the same page so that's not the way to, to go about it the way to go about niche site building and keywords and even affiliate marketing is to always think of it in logical steps and just use common sense so what we would do is we would break the keyword groups down into segments and what we could do is we could perhaps put these ones on the home page you know blend them in naturally we could potentially put these ones on the home page blend them in naturally but we if, you know once we get here we're talking too much so we would need to perhaps think about doing a different article and the way I do that is I might have an article on something completely irrelevant to the, to the product name something like easy steps to gain weight fast and then I would target these terms within that article but I would actually talk about this how to gain weight fast so I'd be thinking about the actual searcher who wants to gain weight fast while I'd be pre-selling this product and I would blend these in naturally so my actually my actual article with the title would target something completely different now a lot of people are still in the old mindset where they're just you know trying to put an article up on that now you wouldn't really want to have an article up on CB1 weight gain at Amazon it doesn't make sense you know it's not the way I do things or how I'm trying to teach you what you would do to get these words in and make them natural is you could talk about how the user could buy this on Amazon, for example, and you know it might be lower than 
than it is on the merchant but what you want to do is you want to make sure you do your research for example i know for a fact that this product isn't selling right now on amazon and the best place to get it is directly with the merchant and that's also where the special offers are and the best deals are and so on and it's also got a good conversion because i've already tested it so what i would do is i would actually talk about that because i'm being blatantly honest i would talk about that in the article and i would just say how you know you can't really get this on amazon right now so if you've been searching for a way to buy this on amazon this is where you can buy it from and you'll get the best deals and the best discounts and you'll get all of the updates and you'll also hear success stories and so on and so on so when you're doing niche sites you can't just do a random and although i do recommend outsourcing things you do have to know your stuff and research the product and the market know the trends and just understand the mindset of the people who are in this particular market and the people who want to gain weight and the, obviously the people who want to buy a product around that and obviously this one is a perfect one for that and it's, it's selling well because it obviously fills that need of what the consumer has and obviously that is to gain weight naturally and this is a product that does that so moving on so what we would do is we would obviously break these all down into segments as you can see here and we could put different articles up on the blog now so we, we could say you know using my examples we would title the article something completely different to you know we wouldn't title as them anymore because i've already got an article on that one anyhow we would title it to someone else and we'd get them in again and, he, and here we would title it something completely different again as my example above but as you can see here we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen so potentially 14 more very targeted niche related and still by our intent so you know so we've got potentially 14 to 15 new articles to add on to this site so 14 to 15 new blog posts so what we would do is we would write nice articles thinking about the user thinking about the mindset of that searcher and we would get them on onto this blog and because there's been a good amount of core link building already been done to this blog meaning i've already sent some good high pr themed related links to this particular website or this particular blog once we've added these posts what you'll find is they'll probably naturally start ranking and if you can install Google Analytics or Clicky, and I'll get to that on another video coming soon, you can start tracking exactly what is actually being typed in to find so people find your website. And then you can even expand further using the stats in Google Analytics. You know, certain terms what you may not know were being used. And then you can again do the Google suggestion, do the Google Hummingbird, use keyword canine or whatever keyword to use. And you can keep expanding. So eventually you could have you know a 50 to 100 page website if you want to go down that route and it is recommended if you've got something which you know a good market and a good product what's selling but first i would say aim for about 10 to 15 posts but only do this guys on the blogs which you know are selling so in order for that to test that you would obviously need a group of core buyer intent keywords and a product and obviously a niche segment so for example this one is weight gain our product is cv1 weight gainer and our core keywords were CB1, we you know where to buy CB1. They're, you know, they're on the, on the blog as an example on the right column to see what we targeted. But anyhow, this is how we would expand it. And as we we're expanding, our recent posts obviously would change so that that would help the keyword density. If there's an issue on there where you, you, you think it's stuffed in too many times on the right sidebar. Then after we've done this, we would go, you know, for more ideas, we would go to keyword canine. For example, I just typed in gain weight on the keyword explorer and i got a, a, a ton of suggestions and if you look down here obviously we have we have tons of terms they're not as actually product related but how to gain weight is still a targeted term and a targeted searcher because although they might just be looking for information there's a good chance that this person is incredibly underweight is very slim or skinny and desperately wants to put on weight so this to me is a very targeted term and it really spikes my curiosity because it has 40,500 searches obviously I never take this you know I take this with a pinch of salt I don't expect that to be exact you, and you don't even know how much of the traffic really is until you you get ranked up there highly and monitor it with a, a tracking stat you know like Google Analytics or something like that so you know don't take these as you know wow if I get ranked number one I'm gonna get 40,000 searches a month that's not true that will never happen because you'll, all, you'll only get a percentage of that anyhow even if you are number one because obviously there's other distractions there and you know there's the ad words and so on you know but you'll get a good percentage of that you know so don't don't think you won't get any amount because obviously you'll get a good percentage of that but anyhow if we click on how to gain weight what will happen now is it'll, it'll give you an indication of how easy this is to rank for now i would imagine this one would be quite hard to rank for and it is hard however 
that wouldn't put me off because again I've already done some link building okay and as I'm writing this article naturally what will happen is Allah might not rank for that term and you know I probably could well I could I know I could rank for this term if I wanted to but Allah might not rank for this term what will happen is because I'm writing for this particular mindset and for the search is I'm putting in loads of different terms potential terms and obviously going back to the Google suggestion I'd be blending them and naturally I'd be writing though without even researching any terms because I'm you know, writing from that mindset of that searcher, there'll be terms in there what that person would type in and we, we would pop up and you'd make even more sales. So not many people talk about that. They talk about, you know, you must do your keyword research. But if you're writing your articles naturally around these kind of topics, what you'll find is you'll rank for stuff which you've never even targeted because you're obviously doing a good, detailed, unique article. And again, once you've tracked, you're tracking that in Google Analytics, you'll see for yourself, you know, the, the type of things that I've been typing, you'll be like, wow, I didn't even research that keyword. So maybe let's do an angle. Let's use that as an angle there, get another series of articles up and so on and so on. And this is basically how you, how you expand, guys. And, you know, if you've got a winning website, when I say winning a website that is selling for sure, when it's ranking highly in the marketplace as is as is in this example here and I'll just load the website up in case you guys haven't remembered it's case study three as I said it's currently doing about $150 to $200 a month now which isn't bad I mean it's, it's not particularly good I mean it's nothing to be excited about but if you if you if you had 50 of these then you know you're talking a lot of money but what I'm saying is a lot of the times 85% of the time in my experience for me once I have a website like this which I know is selling this is something that I would invest more time into and I wouldn't be afraid to spend more money on because I know that this product sells I know it's a hungry buying market so it makes sense now for me to make this website larger so people always say when would you make the websites larger when would you think about expanding the blogs this is it now when I know that I'm gonna make more money if there's a website sitting there and it's been ranking a while and there's just no sales coming in why would you waste more time on that and more importantly why would you waste more money on that because you have to make sure that when you spend the money as in any business that you're going to make more than you're spending back okay guys so this is the site obviously we would have more alternate and re recent posts now and what you can also do is you could actually turn this because we used an, a nice domain name into an actual blog that grows over time so once you've got these these other terms and so we'll, we'll put up these 14 or 15 articles for example we might say this is really selling out we'll, we could be making 400 500 dollars a month it might go higher than that we don't know until we you know we test it and get the articles up etc etc but it might be that we want to expand on this and build a huge blog and then build a newsletter a newsletter list and go a following and perhaps even have a social presence where we you know build a facebook fan page around weight gain and you know starts you know sending in success stories and I mean there's just so many different ideas you can do and you know there's so there's so many opportunities and so many different platforms now online that it isn't as difficult as you think to grow a presence on any niche I mean you can do it on any niche even the most competitive niches if you use your mind and you know get creative you can get a, a following and traffic going to anything because there's just so many platforms now where there's tons of traffic I mean something I haven't used yet but I know there's there's tons of traffic on for example there's pin interest so later on in the as I start exploring that's you know it's a light bulb will go from my mind and I think wow let's use this and I'll, I'll use this for one of my niche sites and so on just to give you some guys some food for thought so the next question is is okay Johnny so now that you've got this earning more money how would you build how what would be the first steps to build a following on it and when I say a following basically you know basically repeat visit as that's what I always think of and build a relationship with people who are on the website and in order to do that the first step that I would take is to build a, a newsletter list where I would have an email funnel on the back end and we'll get to that on another video that I'm doing this week and what we'll talk to, it'll be Lang who does this video by the way what we'll do is we'll talk about installing a pop-up so we'll have a nice pop-up come up on this website with a picture of a weight gain report and we'll say something you know not in these words so I'll think about it more carefully but we'll say you know sign up for the, our newsletter and get our free report on how you can you know naturally gain weight you know over so many days and then they'll get a report sent to them and basically the report will just be a series of emails five to ten emails talking about weight gain and then eventually we'll get to pre-selling this particular product here and then you know we might even do a sign up form on the right here just to, you know to entice them to sign up as well and a pop-up so what we what we're going what we're doing is first we're going to expand the blog on these type of terms here again remember I went that on the previous video using Google suggestion 
using the power of the hummingbird update to our advantage yeah so just to go over this down you can see that how how good the terms are i mean tips to gain weight how to gain weight quickly quickest way to gain weight you know gain all of these are very very specific searches with a very specific mindset and we can make a lot of money from these guys and, and also help them at the same time so going back here so once we've we've added them on the next step would be to build build up a nice sexy pop-up you know and a nice form here with a free report a free giveaway to entice them to sign up and start the the, the pre-selling if you like or the relationship building and then leading up to the pre-sell on the back end with a series of emails and then you have basically what I call an email follow-up in place you can send periodical broadcast newsletters just like what I do on the if you know if you're a subscriber of health wealthy fully you'll find that I do a, a series of follow-up emails on the back end which kind of pre-sells a niche site formula and, and a couple of other services that I use and then I periodically you know to keep in touch with you guys and to help you and you know to build a relationship and to show that I care I also do broadcast emails when I think so, when I come across something that I feel will be helpful or beneficial to you know what you're pursuing and that's obviously something to do with healthy wealthy affiliate marketing or affiliate marketing or even just marketing online just something to help you guys and you know it works it works really well and when I send a promotion out I normally convert quite well sometimes 10% depending on the offer which is you know really high and I probably wouldn't do that if I didn't have a relationship with many of you guys on my newsletters list as you know a lot of you are now my friends on Skype and we, we talk often as well so there's no reason why you can't do that in, in any you know any segment so I hope you found this video helpful and insightful and have some ideas now on how you would take a website which is earning some money and potentially get it earning double its return on investment or treble or even quadruple or even further on that you know it could be that the website just really takes off for those terms and it gets a ton of search and, and that search is high convert and search which you know it's not strange for that to happen it, it can happen and i've done that many times and I've, I've taught some students in the past how to do that too so well, on the next video we'll basically we'll go over the pop-up and we'll we'll get to writing the emails and so on and then after that video i'll probably go on to google analytics and i'll get all these videos inside and you site formula as well so hope you enjoyed watching and i'll speak to you all soon thanks again guys